Okay. Try two. What's a man named Ruben? Alright. He got a phone call. Sitting in the living room, gets a phone call. Uh, another line, someone tells him, can I get a hundred dollars? He's like, what? I can't hear you. I get a hundred dollars. like, I still can't hear you. The guy's like, I don't know if, the, if I'm speaking low, the phone's broken. Can I get a hundred dollars? He's like, listen up. I'm going to have to either speak a little bit louder or I'm going to have to hang up. We know Ruben's wife is listening in. So Ruben's like, I can hear, I can hear him clearly. So it was like, so you pay the $100. Sometimes we hear what we want to hear. And sometimes people owe someone $100 and they don't want to pay. This week's parsha, we have the, the Pasuk. It says, <clears throat> Now Lois Sullen Pula Salkir Itcha at Boike. In other words, you have to pay someone if you owe someone money. If you if he did a job for you, you have to pay him right away. Right? There's a famous Sikh of the Rebbe in Parsha Chiseitse where we have a similar Pasuk which says, Right, and the difference between the two Pasukim and the Rashi, one's for a day job, one's for a night job. And there the Rebbe explains a fascinating topic. We'll get into it a little bit. And what I want to try to do is there are many, many Mephorshim that actually bring this question. Right? Um, the Rebbe quotes a few of them. There's a lot that the Rebbe doesn't, at least on the, doesn't seem to be quoting them. I want to go through a few of the answers that are out there, that are famous, that people give, try to see how the Rebbe really says they all don't work, right? Not just ones the Rebbe says in the Sikha, but all of them don't work, and show how the Rebbe's answer, in one Kuda answers all their questions, and show how there's no issue l'chadchila. So just to give a short summary on the Sikha, so the Rebbe, the Rebbe, the Rebbe asked the question, how, how could it be that the Ebishter, we know, we, we, we learned the Bar, the bar Mitzvah Ma'amer, Magadur Yaakov, Chuk Mishpat Yisrael, whatever he commands the Yidin to do, he does. So how could it be that he commands us to pay a worker right away? Right? Shouldn't push, push, shouldn't push it off for the next day. However, he himself doesn't. How do we know he doesn't? Because it says, the clear Ma'amer Chazal, Hayoyim La'asaysam, today you do it, Umachar, L'Kabo Scharam, and Machar, when Mashiach comes, you will be Mikabal, you, you will get the Schar. This is a Gemara, it's brought down in Abu Zora, it's brought down in Erevin, in a few places, and Shas is brought down. So we see that Eivisha doesn't pay right away. And the question the Rebbe asks is how is it possible that Hashem is not fulfilling what he himself says? So the Rebbe says, the Rebbe brings from some of the Mephorshim, what do the Mephorshim want to answer? The Mephorshim want to say, and this is brought down by a few Mepharshim. Leave that, uh, the, it's brought down in the name of the Chachmi Ashkenaz, wherever they were. That the din is that by a Sacher, that in, if you, you know, if you paid someone to do a job for you, 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 you rent it from you, he's considered to be a Sacher, right? And you don't have to pay up until the job is, is done. In other words, what, the Rebbe, what, what they want to answer is that not every time we do a mitzvah do we need to get paid. Rather, we have a job to do. And when we finish our job, we'll get, uh, we'll get rewarded. The Rebbe says, it doesn't work. Why doesn't this answer work? Because this will only work according to the Rambam, who says that the, what's the safe mountain scar and what's the ultimate reward is after someone passes away, he gets Ganeda. Right? However, the Chassidus holds up the Rambam. That the ultimate reward is not going to anything, rather it's Elam Haba. In other words, when someone passes away, he doesn't right away get, he also waits. So again, we're back to we're back to the original question. The Rebbe even says, even the, even the Rambam holds that uh, according to according to some some places, even, even the Rambam himself could have technically hold that uh, when someone passes away, that, that's, not, that's not the safe on the storm. We're not gonna get into that, it's a different topic. <laughs> so the Rebbe brings down from the Alter Rebbe. The entire calls man meshachagolus is is one avoid. In other words, the Rebbe says Rebbe is really building on the on the last question. Why didn't the work? Right, because after someone passed away, he's supposed to get the star. The Rebbe says no. 
if someone's more of like a kabla, in other words, if someone is, has to finish a job for you, right? And there's a, obviously there's a bunch of people, all the gidden, we're here to finish a job. So then the matan schar and the schar, the payment, is not until the job is finished. So even if it takes many generations, Shem doesn't have the obligation, the chiv to pay until the job is finished. And once the job is finished, they will pay. Meaning once Mashiach will come, they will pay. In other words, what the Rebbe says is that the Yidin were like a kabbalah. We have to finish the job. Now, this is, this is what the Rebbe says. The Rebbe continues on. We'll, we'll get there in a second. There, there are other Mepharshim that bring other answers. Again, meanwhile, what we're holding in the Sikhs where the Rebbe says that the Yidin are like a kabbalah. And until we finish the job, we don't, um, we don't get the, the star. There are other Mepharshim. We'll bring down, there's many, many, we'll bring down three of them. There is, a pure that brings down, where it says, I think this is also from the Chachmi Ashkenaz, where similar to what we said before, if someone gives a Kaili to an Uman to, fin- to, to do a job for him, to build him a, build him something, to dye him, to, to, to make some clothing, to dye some clothes, paint or whatever it is. There's a question about in that situation if he's high of in this Indian of And the Gemara there says that it's basically dependent on if we say this, this there's a concept of Uman which means very very basic is that if, if you give me something and I make it shabak, I make it greater, right? And you're and meaning I I I take it and it's worth hundred dollars, I was worth two hundred dollars. You have to pay, right? You're paying me for doing that job for you. I took a piece of clothing, I made it very nice, I cleaned it, made it very nice, I changed the color. So now the value went up, right? Who owns the value before it's bought out? In other words, I'm going to pay you twenty dollars to make uh, my piece of clothing that's worth hundred dollars, not worth hundred fifty dollars, right? Until until I get paid. Who owns the value? It's Machlikis. But the Maskana is that actually the Uman owns the value. Meaning, what he was, Uman koine b'shvachli, he's koine, what he added in value to this alien. So in other words, it's not the concept where the guy didn't pay and therefore he's over. Why is he not over? Because it belongs to the Uman. And then when he gives him the object, he's actually just paying for him, just like when you go to the store and you buy something. So the balabais is not over. So what is what is this um, this uh, I think his name is forgetting his name. This this who she asks. It says the Gemara says that if the samimonim belong to the balabais, we don't see uman kind of That means if the paint, for example, or if the spices, or if the if what he is making the Kaili better it actually belongs to the Balabais. So the, the Uman is never kind of anything. Yidin, we make the world better. How do we make the world better? With Tariah Mitzvahs. Who owns the Tariah Mitzvahs? Okay, the Eivishter. The Eivishter owns the Tariah Mitzvahs. We never, so to speak, acquire any of the gain that we're giving to the world. The world is, you know, the world was in a bad place. We made it better. We don't acquire that gain because how do we do it with, with the Eivishter's, with Hashem's Tariah? In other words, with his own, with what Hashem gave us, we made it better. So we're just like a hired worker. We're the ones that did the job. How do we do it? Not with our own, not with our own things, but rather with Abish's things. So Hashem has to pay us. So he, he answers and says, no, the reason why Hashem is not is, is, is not clear to pay us is because actually, <coughs> yeah, Torah and Mitzvah is Abish's, but all the Siyagam are ours. I mean, we add to the Torah. Because we add to the Torah, it's considered to be ours. That's how he answers the question. That's that's uh, the number one. Another another hero springs down. This is actually one's brought in a few places. This is actually very interesting. How come? There's a there's a din by Lois Solon. Is that if I hire someone through a shliach, I'm not chayav. I'm Lois Solon. In other words, if I send a shliach and say, okay, do this for me, I'll pay you hundred dollars. I'm not over if I don't pay. I have to pay. I have to pay. But I'm not over if I don't pay the next day. 
Moshe Rabbeinu, the Shliach, to the Yidden. He gave us the mitzvahs. The Hashem is not high to pay us. I, there's two mitzvahs that we didn't hear from Moshe, we heard from Hashem himself. Anoichi and Lohi Yilachav. He said, on those two mitzvahs, we can get sky in this world. And he proves that we do get some sky in this world. And the Rebbe himself says, in the Zicha, that we do get some sky in this world. We'll see in a minute. And therefore, Moshe Rabbeinu was a sheikh and Hashem was either. And just quickly, the third, a third period brings down that even, even just being alive, basically, just, it says Zichas Hashem, just the fact that the sun is shining, that is enough to a reward, so to speak, that Hashem is taka paying us. So now, the Rebbe continues on in the city. And we'll see how the Rebbe answers all these can't work, and the final answer of the Rebbe is what's the only one that can stand. The Rebbe says that according to the Rambach, right, that we mentioned before, that there's Hashem Taka gives us the, it gives us the schar us love. However, Hashem does help us, so to speak. Or the Amas, what is Hashem? What, meaning, what is everything that, that it says in the Torah that if you do this, you get this, and if you do this, you get this? This ain't the soif matan schar, and it's not the, the ultimate reward, but rather it's to help you, so to speak, through. It's to help you go through. Meaning, if you do what Hashem says, Hashem will help you that you don't have any issues, so you can continue learning Torah mitzvahs. So it's not rewards. Here it says. Even according to the Rambam, you have to say there's some sort of reward. I mean, Pashas and Pasuk is that there's rewards. The, the, the Pashas and Pashas and even according to the Rambam, it's not the ultimate, ultimate reward, but it's still a schar. Right? And this also really throws away, this question also throws away the answers that these Mephoshim give. Because even if a slave is just some money, right, so he's not high. But what, what is talking about the schar? The Rambam says, and the first said that we do get. What is the schar that we're talking about? Right, and if we say it's if it, it, it Moshe is a shliach, so first of all, I, I didn't see this, 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 this is a shlichel div over here, but um, we know according to Chassidus that anoichi la yilchal, right, two mitzvahs that we got from the Yisrael himself was kol all the mitzvahs. So really, we should get schar for all the mitzvahs. Right, Moshe Rabbeinu Taka just explained to us the rest. Anoichi la yilchal is is kol kol the mitzvahs. Right, and also you're going to say that uh, that the, all the schar that we're getting now is anoichi la yilchal, which is uh, which. With lost love, we get the sky rest of the mitzvahs. But the Yisraeli, from all the mitzvahs, that we're getting now, where do we see that? And also, the fact that it says, Zerich HaShemesh, that's our scar, that Pash is the positive. The Torah says, that you do this, you'll get this. It's not Taka, uh, whatever we say in Nishmas, that whatever the Yisraeli gives us is, is, is un, un, boundless, even the fact that we have every breath. But at the end of the day, a Pashtus, Pashtus, the Pasuk, we're getting schar. And where is that? So the Rebbe says something very fascinating. This way, the, the, the Rebbe ends up the Sikha and gives the answer. The Rebbe basically says that we are actually Shutvin with Abishtha. In other words, there's a din, right? If someone if someone uh, gives his friend a chicken and he, and, and, uh, and he has eggs and the chicken lays over, lays over the eggs or whatever, the, 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 so to speak, there's, there's two partners. The Rebbe goes to both of them, right? It says, it says um, in the Pasuk by Yechulu, right? It says that uh, it's the Darshan of the is the Darshan of the Pasuk by Yechulu, that we're actually should be in my separation. So, in other words, what the Rebbe says is that why does the Abisha have to pay us? It's not because Abisha owes us money and he's not giving it to us. Because we're doing the job together. And if we're doing the job together, you don't get It's not the that you're getting, it's the Rebbe that you're going to get. If, you, if, you, if, you both, if two people go into real estate, when the money comes back, you'll split the money. Before the money comes back, you can't expect anything. You don't expect from one thing to another from <coughs> something else. Right? So, so, so in other words, in short, what the Rebbe says is that there's no, that the chathil is no question because we're shukvin, and it's not schar that we're getting. It, it is schar, but it's not, it's not that I'm, we're getting paid, rather we're just receiving the Rebbe. I, what's with the, the Rebbe asks, what's with the, the schar that we're talking getting in in Oil Mazah. The Rebbe says it's a very, very interesting din for the Rambam in Parakas of Ochus um, Shutvin that this case that I mentioned about if, if someone, their partners and one, one, one partner gives the chicken to go on the uh, gives the chicken and the eggs the din is that whoever's doing the work has to, has to get the other the other partner gives him actually schar gives him what he has a schar amoli. I mean he gives him the schar that uh, amoli or mazoyne, that whatever he's working and whatever he needs to do the work, the other guy has to give it. In other words, it's part of the deal. 
Rebbe says that whatever we're getting, what Hashem is giving us, it's not the schar, it's schar moly, meaning what we need, what we need to do it is what he gets. But the safe schar is, is less loving. And this answers well, one last one last answer of what we're first bring is this, uh, the Rebbe ends off how we can't say that, we must say it children. There's something very similar to Hashem, that's Oris. Oris means if someone is out in the field and someone goes in and um, someone does the work on the field, you split it, let's say 50-50 or two-thirds or whatever. The, the dinner we brought in above common. Now, there are some of that want to say very, very similar to the Rebbe. That actually, you didn't, and like the Rebbe, like Oris. Right? So they was just the world, field, and we're doing the, the work. The <coughs> field works perfectly, exactly what like the Rebbe says. Right? We're, we're doing the work, right? So we're in Oris, we get 50-50, and we're exactly like Shultzman. Why does the Rebbe have to get this example of the chicken and the egg, and uh, and why can't the Rebbe bring the same example as as these Mefarshim and bring down? I think it's brought down the Sefer Tzlas Shani, um, and or another Sefer. And <clears throat> why can't the Rebbe just just give this answer that we're talking Aris? The if fits if it, it fits well. So it's actually explained that um, it's very very interesting in, the, in that in that halacha the Rambam, where the Rambam says that. The Hanesim Beitzim of the Lavala Tanagrelim, right? Like, like, like I mentioned, um, the, the the two partners, right? Now, where one partner has to give schar a one partner has to give a schar for the work that he's doing, for pushing his day to day needs. Ram, the, the Ram ends off, ends off. That's if, like this, ve'im hoya arisa, and if he wasn't aris, hoya vum etav b'shaloyv. So Bala said, "Inter chalalis loyklum." If he wasn't aris, doesn't have to give him anything. In other words. If someone's an artist, you're not the, the other partner, the owner of the field is not hired to give anything. Right? So then we're back, we're gonna be back to the original question. And not just that, the cast of Mishnah brings down proofs from the Gemara, right? Where he brings a story of uh, Rebel Lazar from Agrenia, that he thought he had a shut of someone, right? And he, and he, and he made an artist, and he was not hired to give him anything. In other words, what the Rebbe says is that the only way that we can make this work is if talk of the example the Rebbe gives that we're a shut of. And therefore, the Hashem gives us whatever we need right now. But safe back on schar on when are we going to get the actual reward? The reward that we're getting is not the reward as as a schar what we're doing. We're going to get the reward when Mashiach comes. We're going to we're going to split with him, so we should fin in everything that we did. May Taka be take me at mamish. We Taka have the reward.